Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I just wanted to talk about some of the stuff that I learned while starting gymnastics really late. And for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I started this YouTube channel for the sole purpose of sharing my gymnastics videos. And if you kind of like go back in the old, my old videos, it's all about gymnastics. And if any, if you probably everybody knows what gymnastics is, and it requires a lot of physical strength, a lot of flexibility, a lot of mental capacity that, you know, one needs to have in order to fly themselves like up in the air but most people who are gymnasts start out at a very young age some even like at the age of like 18 months before they're even walking properly and i think most people tend to start at age four or five and then they progress onto the usag team at the age of around five or six so when you're about five or six you are very flexible you have uh, you're not really fearful of the possibilities of what can happen to you if you fall off a four inch beam or if you're like flying up in the air and you have a better better chance of the coaches being able to catch you and, and being able to, you know, spot you for difficult skills. So you just learn a lot quicker. But for me, I started gymnastics at the age of 14. No, no, no at the age of 13. And that is an extremely late age and delayed age because usually at the age of 12 or 13, gymnasts are usually in their elite level stages or at least like upper level 9, 10. So I'm taking this class at one of my first gyms and I'm in this class and you know everything is age grouped by ages. So I am in a class with older girls, but I'm seeing these teen girls you know, that are like seven and they're throwing like fulls and they're throwing like double back, you know, double back tucks and you know, here I am learning a pullover on bars and learning, you know, a handstand and it was quite embarrassing actually and before um, I started gymnastics, I did quite a bit of Taekwondo martial arts about 10 years and then I also did about eight years of ballet so I definitely have the grace the you know the suave of gymnastics down and I had the strength down from martial arts but it was just like you know conforming your body into ways that they've never conformed before and I think the thing that I've really had to struggle with the most was the fear I could not get on that balance beam and do flips on it it just did not seem sane to me so anyways I'm on this team I mean I'm at this gymnastics center learning back bends and learning all this basic stuff and I'm just quite tired of it like I really like the sport and but it was just getting really um straining and it was getting kind of embarrassing actually so i stopped and my family and i removed actually and we were no longer near that gymnastics center and then after a bit i wanted to try again and i started at a local ymca center and at this ymca center it was really different because the equipment they had to share with they had to share that um gymnasium with the basketball team so the coaches had to get there early and like set up all the gymnastics equipment and then like put it all back so we didn't really have a spring floor we didn't have like a foam pit we didn't have like a trampoline or any of that we had very basic equipment um but i really liked how free everything seemed like like it didn't seem really uptight the coaches seemed really relaxed and like they didn't really push me into doing stuff that i really wasn't ready for and because of that encouragement i think i've been able to progress really fast and about six months into that ymca center so i was about four almost 14 i got onto team and i was a level four gymnast at the age of 14 years old and I got my back handspring, I got my pullovers, I got my front hip circles, I got my, you know, dismount off beam and all that good stuff. And I just kept progressing on to level 7. And I quit gymnastics at level 7. And that was because I was 18 and I had to go away to college. Well, the first thing I learned while starting gymnastics late is that don't let what other people think of you stop you from doing what you love. And I know this sounds really cliche, but it's so true. And if I had let, 
what other people think of me get in the way of fulfilling my dream as a gymnast I would have never gotten onto team I would have never really found a passion for such a sport I would have never found the values and the worth of you know continuously doing something that you really love because of the encouragement from my coaches and from my teammates um, I persevered and I, I got up to, up to level 7 four years after starting my gymnastics career four years That's number two so I believe that perseverance and hard work beats natural talent any day because yes you know people do have natural talent they have natural athletic abilities genetics blessed with genetics but I don't think I was because first and foremost I do not have the physique of a gymnast and by that what I mean by that is I have a really I have a long torso and wide hip well not wide hips but like I have hips and then kind of short legs so that's not really a good physique for a gymnast because you can create a lot of back problems and it's really hard to be flexible with your upper body especially like your shoulders and your back and then i already had the had the dis i already had you know the disadvantage of age so i just was not at an advantage at all and though i you know had the strength for martial arts and though i had the grace and you know the the dancing from ballet i couldn't get those to form and combine into gymnastics because it's a different type of dance it's a different type of strength and it's a different type of flexibility so it was really hard to kind of incorporate everything into this one sport and it took a lot of hard work and i remember i would search up like i was on level four but i already knew all the level five and level six skills and like their floor routines i had them down by the time i was in level four because i just watched so many youtube videos on them i made sure i watched all the like tutorials on every skill that you needed for the level that i was on and the level that i was gonna be on at the next season and I basically lived in my leotard. I practiced every single day at home. I conditioned myself like five hours a day. I loved Saturdays and Sundays because I, you know, got to stay home and I would be conditioning all day. I bought a balance beam and I, and like, this is stupid, but the balance beam, because I, you know, I'm tall. Well, I'm not tall, but I'm like not short. So I would have I bought a balance beam that wasn't like on the ground balance beam but kind of like a medium balance beam. So when I would go on top of it, like my hands would touch the ceiling. So if I would do a skill or a handstand, that would have been a mess. So I had to drag that gymungus beam out to my backyard with mats and and um you know after I was finished I would have to bring it back in. So it was a lot of hard work to even do a couple of things on beam at my house, practice it on my house. So, but, you know, perseverance, I did it. You know, I didn't improve or I wasn't able to get to level 7 or even on competitive team by just relying on my, you know, past martial arts or ballet experience. It definitely took a lot of conditioning, like I said. It took a lot of mental strength. It took a lot of, you know, encouraging myself and encouraging, you know, my body that I can do it. So, yes, perseverance and hard work beats natural talent any day. And the last one, number three, is to just have fun. It's just so uptight, you lose passion and you lose interest in what you love and, and you lose like the bigger picture. I feel like, yes, in gymnastics, I was able to do a sport that I absolutely loved, but just the memories of my, my teammates and I going to competitions, going on long drives, hanging out with each other. I mean, they were like my family. And I think if I was just so uptight and concentrated on just gymnastics, I wouldn't have you know had as much fun and it was just really the people and um the environment that really sparked you know a love for the sport a love for gymnastics and um, i miss it so much uh, i remember my friends and i would dance to um hannah montana hold down throw down and i miss getting blisters on my hands my hands are no longer bl they're no longer callous free i don't know if it'll focus but yeah they're all soft now and I miss having so much gel in my hair from, you know, competitions. I miss 
um, my leotards and feeling healthy and feeling like I can fly and I'm 23 now so I can't like I just my body doesn't want to do that anymore but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you know that you guys just don't back down with whatever that you love to do just because of what other people might think of you and because you know what like you can achieve so much more and you learn a whole lot than just gymnastics itself you learn perseverance you learn discipline you learn um, mentality you learn strength you learn bravery you learn how to push your boundaries and your capabilities you learn how to flaunt your flaws you learn how to embrace your differences and most importantly you learn not to care about what other people think of you I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video bye